Ginger Audio Ground Control Room is an innovative new way to route and monitor audio across multiple platforms on your Mac. It's the first all-in-the-box control room center section with perfect digital fidelity. If you've ever tried to take the output of a music player and route it into your DAW, or perhaps play a virtual instrument in Logic but record it into Pro Tools, you'll know just how difficult that can be if you don't have the right tools. Ground Control Room is an in-the-box audio hub with powerful capabilities that eliminates routing and monitoring issues from your Mac, meaning you can concentrate on your creativity and getting started is as easy as installing the software and selecting Room as your designated audio I.O. There are endless possible uses for Ground Control Room, from recording video calls with clients through to creating a signal path to record your computer desktop audio for YouTube tutorial style videos and more. Most DAWs don't have a monitoring section built in. This is where Ground Control Room comes into place. Use it as your studio center section for monitoring and comparing your mixes, such as A-B testing, loudness testing, and referencing audio from other sources. Let's first cover the user interface. There are many controls at first glance, but most of the side controls are grouped per input and output channel, meaning every channel functions in the same way. Inputs are found on the left of the interface and outputs are on the right, and on each channel you can find a fader to allow quick trimming of the input or output volume and a large on-off button to allow for quick muting, as well as a lock button to allow for multiple inputs and outputs to latch on at once for summed listening, and a knob to send the audio to the cue output. The output channels also feature a pan slider, but the most interesting and unique function of ground control room is the FX button. Using any audio unit plugin available on your system, you can apply audio effects to any input or output across your entire operating system with Ground Control Room's plugin insert feature. For example, if you're recording a YouTube tutorial and routing it through to Logic using the software's routing capability, but want to apply slight compression and EQ to the audio before it reaches the recording stage, simply add a compressor plugin to the input channel and you can get your audio under control. Ground Control Room has a dedicated 16-channel virtual audio device called Room. If you want to send audio from your DAW to Ground Control Room, you should use Room as your audio output device. If you want to record audio coming from Ground Control Room back to your DAW, you should use Room as your audio input device in your DAW. There are dedicated loopback channels in the Room driver to do this, to prevent creating a feedback loop in your DAW in case you use Room as both DAW inputs and output devices. One benefit of having the ability to put any plugin anywhere in your audio chain is that you can treat all audio sources through Room Correction software. If you use Sonarworks, Arc3 or any other room correction software that you'd usually apply to a master bus within a digital audio workstation, then applying it to ground control room will enable you to calibrate your entire operating system's audio to your room. Having a great sound in DAW but Spotify being left behind is a thing of the past. Likewise, being able to use room emulation software across your entire OS gives a huge range of possibilities. Ground Control Room features a center section with a large volume knob, phase inversion options, solo, mute, dim, left and right flip, talkback and more, all giving you every bit of flexibility you need in the studio to get the job done. The reference volume buttons can be adjusted by right clicking, then using the pop-up controls to assign a value to each button. This allows for quick recall and easy control over the volume level you hear in your studio. Below the central master section is a metering display showing loudness units ideal for mastering with target platform options to give helpful guidelines ensuring your music or dialogue isn't turned down by the service it's uploaded to. The master section features a mid-sides listening button to allow you to fine tune each part of the stereo field of your mixes. Mid-sides listening is important as it allows you to independently focus on the center and side signals of a stereo signal for more control over your mix. The mid signal contains the information that shows up in both speakers, whilst the sides signal contains the information that is unique to the left and right speakers independently. To build on the already extensive master section metering, you can add further metering in detachable windows to each of the inputs and outputs to ensure you know precisely what's happening at all times with every aspect of your audio chain. 
select the drop down arrow at the top of each channel's input and output channel strip and click on show meter view window to open up a selection of metering parameters. These windows can be arranged to your preference, meaning you can have your ideal metering set up in no time at all. Loudness metering using LUFS values can be monitored in a variety of styles with choices ranging from short term and integrated through to momentary and full range metering and peak monitoring between true peak and momentary peak values. Not only this, but you can open up more than one window at once, meaning having a clear view of your entire audio workflow is super easy to achieve. Having this flexibility within ground control rooms monitoring system means you can be in control of everything within your audio workflow at all times. As well as extensive software control, ground control rooms services can also be controlled by programmable hardware such as the Stream Deck Plus or Loop Deck CT. Assign your favorite commands to buttons, knobs, and screens to create the ultimate sound control panel, meaning you can have hardware control with a physical knob to turn buttons to push, and more, whilst all the processing remains firmly inside the box. Finally, the Inter software routing is not only constrained to within your own computer. Using Dante Networks, you can transmit audio between devices using Ground Control Room's powerful routing technology, meaning you can expand your workflow across devices, rooms, or even locations using networked audio. Whether the audio is from an app, browser, microphone, or an audio interface, you can route audio tracks to multiple destinations using unique mixes for each output. To find out more about Ground Control Room and how it can help you work efficiently to make your audio pipeline work for you, visit gingeraudio.com to view specific videos on all its features and download it today.